Hello everyone, so today is going to be my designer bag collection. Look behind me. Designer bag collection in 2019. Let's get started because battery's running really quickly for some reason. Um, when I say designer bag, not just designer bag, also designer items of any sort. So this is my Don Le Peu from Louis Vuitton. It's a perfume never opened. It was supposed to be a gift, but long story short, that did not happen. And uh, I also have my Chanel. This is my classic flap and lambskin. I am going to sell this soon because I just don't use it as much. I got this for my 22nd birthday. And... Uh, Beautiful interior. Let me know if you're interested. I also have this, which is my Prada Safiano bag. Also never used it. Didn't store it very well, so let me know if you are interested. I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy, and uh, this I love, year of my birth. Probably will never sell it. Not the perfect condition, but it's a vintage bag, so... I forgive her. I also have this, which is my Balone bag. I love this, but never used it. It's a really pretty bag. I just don't see how it fits with my lifestyle or style, so I will also sell this. I have this, these two actually, both from Neverfulls. This is from my Damien Azur Neverfull, and this is from my World Tour Neverfull, which is sitting right there uh, underneath a bunch of stuff, so I don't want to touch it right now but um yeah this has the red interior the world tour i love it the damien azur never full already sold but i just love these charms just how this looks with the pink interior the rose ballerine interior just too 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 pretty so i have to keep this michael kors bag that i've been wanting to sell for the longest time it's brand new but i don't know why it's just so hard to sell a michael kors bag like i i got a lot of offers but you know, people just, like, their words just don't count, you know? Like, people just don't follow through what they're saying. So, yeah, it's still here. My Kate's Bay bag, very, very useful. We'll probably sell this because I really don't use this at all. It's such a useful bag, honestly. Just look at, look at this. Just so pretty. This is my, I think, Chanel wallet. Ta-da! Yeah, this is my Chanel flat wallet. Check this out. It's so, so, so pretty. Uh -huh. But um, a little too fragile for my liking because I like to abuse my items, so yeah. And um, this is my Chanel watch. I'm selling both of them because I don't use them at all. This watch is so pretty. I got it from Yugi's Closet. I'm selling a bunch of stuff, so like, please let me know. You can find me on my Instagram, Cherry Tongue, as in Cherry Tongue, or Cherry Tongue's Closet, which I also sometimes go on. But just find me on my main account. I'm usually there. I also have this other Chanel item. I believe these are earrings. So pretty, these earrings. Check these out. Oh, Yeah, I really like them. I also have these. The brooch, crystal brooch, which is kind of like the earrings. Really sparkly, really pretty. So gorgeous. I love it. I also have this, which is my Chanel flat bag. I also have a sling bag, which I hung up on my shoe rack and I do not want to take it. Yeah, for luxury shoes that I'm currently wearing or have worn, I usually don't store it in like this section. And then last Chanel item, which is also ooh, my newest purchase, is over here. I also have my Eva clutch, which is in my car, so I'm not gonna get that either. <laughs> this is my Chanel bag. Oh, so pretty. It smells so good too. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I should probably use her more instead of storing her here But I want to give myself something to I guess look forward to when I sell some of my items because I feel like right now I just have too many items sitting here in idol Which is not good at all. Irma scarf Very pretty. I don't want to open it. Okay. I will open it. It's just I hate folding. But yeah So vibrant so pretty. It's a cheetah I believe and I think this is the right side, even more vibrant on the right side. So, Irma scarf has always been something that I just really, really, really adore. I think they're just beautiful, and like compared to the other items that they have, Irma scarves are not that expensive, which um, is ideal because you can't afford an Irma's item without breaking the bank. So I also have other Irma scarves. Honestly though, for my entire collection, check out my Irma scarf video. So this is another one of them. Not gonna open it because it's just a hassle to fold it back. I also have this one, another one. This my parents gave me. Also this one, super pretty. 
and I believe this is my Hermes belt, yes, in gold and noir, black. Never use this, probably should definitely sell it because I'm a firm believer of not hoarding things and I know I'm a huge hoarder so I should probably change that soon. Next, let's continue with Hermes things. So, I have shoes, these are my sandals. What are they called? I like totally forgot, but these are my Irma sandals. Have not used them. Honestly, I don't know if I should keep them or not because I like don't wear sandals. I just bought them because they look really good. I want to try them on. They look super good. So that's why I bought them. Haha. <laughs> my Irma's Kelly 28 box leather vintage. Not perfect condition, obviously. I'm gonna like do a treatment soon because there's like some obvious scratches and all that, but overall it's just so 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 pretty i just love this bag so much every time i carry it i just feel extremely classy and uh yeah i love this bag another one <laughs> this is my birkin 25 in tomato red so pretty i rarely use this also honestly i've been thinking about selling it but it's really really special to me this is my first store-bought birkin from paris and it's just how I started this whole journey of like loving Irma so freaking much and it's like unstoppable. I'm just so in love with Irma's now, but this is how it all started. My very first store-bought Birkin and it's always special to me. Even if I sell it, I'm still going to remember, you know, those memories and just everything about it it's just so sentimental and i have my Hermes charm over here i complained about this before but um it's all curved up even though it's brand new and i just really hate that but yeah brand new if you guys are interested please please buy it because i just i never use it and yeah this one is my perfume collection that i just got from the Airport, I think is LA Alex. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I love the scent. It is the Un Jardin sur la Nil? Uh, super, super, super fresh, citrusy smell, which I love. It's just so refreshing. This is my Laura kitten heels. Love these, even though I never use it. So if you are interested, please let me know because I don't want to keep hoarding on things, okay? And reach me on my Instagram, Cherry Tongue, Cherry Tongue. And then I also got these, which is the Laura Flats. These actually hurt my feet, so I'm not hoarding them on purpose because I didn't know they're gonna hurt my feet after I got them, after I use them. I just I can't I can't stand it. It just hurts my feet too much. Maybe the leather's too stiff and I don't want to break into it yet. So right now it's still like the very stiff, like new shoe condition. Please let me know if you're interested because I'll definitely want to get these out of my hands because what's the point of hoarding? There's no point of hoarding. And I think this is the last Hermes item, I believe. This is my Calvi card holder. And inside it's just a pop of Poppy. So, so, so pretty. This one, I'm not even sure why I have because obviously I have not used it as brand new, but um, I think I just have because it's so pretty. And you don't find bi colors very often. So that's why I got it. Another item is my coach bag that I thought I was gonna use for work, but obviously that did not happen because I still prefer to use backpacks more. And why coach is because I feel like they're more sturdy and more under the radar. So it's not, oh, what's my cat doing? So it's not too show offy. Okay, my cat is fighting a mouse. Like not a real one, but like a toy mouse. I have my Louis Vuitton pencil case and I don't really use this anymore because I'm no longer a student and I just don't use pens and pencils all that much. I don't have a need for pencil pouches, but this is just so, so, so gorgeous. Inside is like this dark blue color. So yeah, I'm gonna sell this too. This is my Louis Vuitton Rose Ballerine little mini wallet and it's just so, so, so pretty. I love it so much. I might sell this, unfortunately, because I already have my World Tour wallet. I don't use this anymore, so I don't see why I'm still, you know, hoarding it. It is very beautiful and it's a very, very, very tough decision. But if I feel like the price is right, like if I feel like I can find someone who can treasure this wallet as much as I do, I'm gonna let go of her. But like, mm, sad. This one is, uh, I don't know. Oh, it's my Chapman Brothers, also a collector's item. I've been lately thinking about selling this too, just because I don't use it and I don't see why I'm keeping it. But it's definitely very, very pretty. It was very difficult for me to get my hands onto this. Just 
a gorgeous item. So over here, I just have my coach items, two coach items, coach and Disney collaboration with Mickey Mouse. Black on the outside, red on the inside, super pretty. This is the key holder and this is the phone slash wallet. So phone holder slash wallet. And these two, they're just so pretty, I couldn't resist, but obviously I am not using them, so I don't see why I'm holding on to them. So yeah, if you're interested, please let me know. And this is some Pence wallet, don't ask me why I got it. It was supposed to be a gift, okay? And uh, I don't know, stupid love stories, but yeah. A men's wallet, if you're interested, let me know. I'll definitely sell it under retail, so you'll get a good deal and brand new. So, hmm. I like gift deals. I hope you do too. Anything else? Um, I think that is about it. Yeah, so these are uh, most of my designer items. Not all, because my designer items are like everywhere, but these are just some of which I store together which makes my life easier when I, you know, try to find things or sell things and all that. And honestly, lately, I've been so into the calm Marie method of just cleaning up your house and only keeping things that keep your heart flutter. And at the same time, I'm also a firm believer that I should not be a hoarder just because I have limited space and I always constantly move. Like, I want to say every year or two, I always move from one place to the other. And since I'm renting right now, there is no way that I'm going to live here forever and ever. So yeah, I have to keep that in mind when I buy all these things. So I'm just really trying to declutter and stop hoarding and also sell some of the things that I don't reach for at the moment and if I want them later on maybe I can buy them later on maybe they'll be more expensive because luxury things designer things always get more expensive every year usually but you know when that time comes I will probably be richer than now so I think that's that's fine so thank you so much for sticking with me through this designer collection designer item collection I'm by no means like super rich or anything I just choose to spend money on the things I really really love and these designer bags and shoes and accessories whatever these are just things that I really really enjoy so that's why I splurge on this category and people all have their hobbies things that they adore so less judgment more love thank you so much for watching i have a lot of perks and goodies in my info box be sure to check those out like free money free perks free delivery free food whatnot so yeah check those out and i will see you guys next time bye